Oh wow, this is weird. It's been a long time since I filmed. Hey everyone, my name is Aga Tompkins. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna know about Botox and Dysport and why I'm not happy with it, then stay tuned and I'll tell you all about my experience. Check it out. So on June 7th, I went and got Dysport in my forehead. So if you guys don't really know the difference between Dysport and Botox, I'll kind of explain that to you. Um, they're really similar, they're the same thing, and most people know Botox as like Kleenex, you know, or whatever. It's kind of like the name brand and people understand. It essentially is injections that get rid of wrinkles or like relax your muscle so the wrinkles aren't all like, like that, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I've gotten Dysport before, but not in my forehead. I've gotten it around my brow area, and essentially all it did was kind of, it felt like it like lightly relaxed my brow and this area right in the middle. The only real big difference was I couldn't like make such a big crease in the middle of my brows. I really didn't have wrinkles that much there anyway. The only place I really had wrinkles was in my forehead. Head and I have quite a bit like I I'm, I make a lot of expressions if you guys haven't noticed yet yeah my forehead just had wrinkles which never bothered me I have bangs and like even when I didn't have bangs it was no big deal and you know I'm 37 years old I don't have like crow's feet I don't have anything like that one of my friends actually told me about her doctor and kind of said oh I had this little line here I checked out and I was like I'm gonna check out this Dysport thing I didn't know much about it I got Dysport and Dysport is essentially smaller molecules of the same idea as Botox it's just a newer different version of Botox and that's what I get I've tried Botox before as well honestly the same thing Dysport works a little faster usually they say but it's different for every person so you have to ask your doctor the details I've gotten Dysport done for about I would say probably now like close to two years maybe a year and a half or two years that I've gotten Dysport done and I've done it like once every eight months I was not getting it done every three months as some people do I didn't really need it I didn't feel a difference in the look that much so in those years I've only gotten it done a, a few times maybe three or four finally I was like guess what I'm doing my forehead and I had big lines here which I will show you guys before I went this is what it looked like and so that was kind of it I obviously have lines there totally fine I was excited let's do this thing finally going to get it I hadn't gotten the above brow area done in probably I would say nine ten months at that point I was like I'm gonna try something new and get rid of my forehead lines and I figured if I hated it then I would just let it be and it usually goes away within three months it starts going away slowly whatever and then I just figured I would never get it again Again, no big deal right day two really you can't feel anything yet you could still move your forehead blah 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 check that out now day three I'm getting excited I can't like make the lines on my forehead which was really cool I can't even make like real lines. It's amazing. But I also slowly started noticing that my eyelids are a little bit hooded. I don't know how to describe it better than hooded eyes and I never really had hooded eyes. It was like bumming me out because I draw my liner and everything like that. And I was like, this is making me mad. Um, <laughs> so I called my doctor and I made an appointment and I figured the problem was that since I got my forehead done, I needed to do this area around my brows to even it out. 
and maybe that would lift this. It's not that big of a difference. Like I bet you guys really can't tell, but I can tell so it bothered me. I ended up making an appointment and going in and getting this done. By day three, I couldn't move my forehead anymore. No lines, this is where I'm at here. And this is with this done as well. So on the 16th, I ended up going back and getting my brows and they injected in here and around here. So as you can tell, I can move my eyebrows up and down and stuff, but I feel like, I don't know how to better explain it than this. Today's actually the 22nd. The seventh, I got the first initial wrinkles on the forehead where they relaxed this muscle. The 16th, I went back and did this area. And today's the 22nd. I feel all right. This eye is a little bit more hooded than this eye. When I do my liner, I get, I have all the problems that people with hooded eyes have. So I'm kind of learning. I know this is gonna go away. I also know I can get it dissolved, but I'm just kind of at the point where I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Thing. I'll keep you guys kind of posted in my videos on how long this takes to go away but that's kind of the brilliant amazing thing is that in time it can go away if you're getting dysport or Botox or whatever I suggest that if you do it do these muscles first so that it can kind of lift this area and do this area first and then get this area done after because I technically did the reverse. The other thing is you're not supposed to exercise and you're not supposed to rub it or anything. Like I said, I've been getting it done for a long time and I actually loved when I just got this area done. It was like a subtle change where people were like, wow girl, you're glowing and I was like, thanks. So I really don't feel like many people noticed that it was that much of a difference, but with my forehead lines gone, I'm actually happy with the results of that. Like if that was it and I still didn't have hooded eyes, I would be happy, but I almost feel like what happened was some of the the dysport went down and into this muscle and made me have droopy eyes. Again, it's not that bad. I honestly feel like, as you guys can tell, it's it's okay, it's fine. Like, nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Anybody else on TikTok or what? Uh, yeah, no, I just feel like it's one of those things that it just bugs me and if you are thinking about getting it, I do like Dysport better than Botox. I even like the thought of it being like smaller little molecules. There's more units. They're smaller, but there's more. That's how it works. If you got like 20 units of Botox, it'd be like 50 units of Dysport, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I would say do research. Figure out a good doctor, which my doctor is great. Through the last times, it did not affect me, but this time it did. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it dissolved or anything like that. I'm gonna let this just do its thing. I have missed you all. We've had people working on our master bedroom, actually. So I've been gone for a little bit, and I'm so sorry, and I missed you guys, and I I hopefully I'm back on track because we're taking a little break from working on our bedroom which the guys would have to walk through here so that's why I couldn't film because they were here like every time that I wasn't busy so the times where I'm not busy I film my YouTube videos well now when I wasn't busy they were here and I am back I will hopefully get more videos out to you guys soon I have a bunch in mind miss you guys if this is your first time here, nice to meet you. If you've been here before, I miss you. And I'm back. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you guys have ever gotten Dysport or Botox. I'm definitely letting you guys know right off the bat, I am not getting filler, so don't worry. I know filler really does change people's faces and all that stuff. If anything, I'm gonna get a facelift. So let's be real, guys. I'm going all the way if I'm gonna need to go there. But for now, I actually, uh, I don't know at 37. I'm like got nothing to lose, you know, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye